Hello, hello and welcome to another update video about um, ADA. So we currently see quite interesting price action across the market. ADA reacted to our trend reversal area here for the second time, no, third, fourth time now. Um, as you can see here, the 50% FIB level was very relevant. Um, we made a lower low. Yeah, technically speaking, you could say we have enough waves down, even though that fifth wave would have been quite short. At this point in time, I cannot rule out, of course, that this is still, whoops, that this is still the fourth wave, as it could be for Bitcoin and Ethereum as well. I just want to highlight that. Only above 41.3 cents, I would rule out that we still have a wave four. Um, but certainly good to see that we have a bit of a reaction here now to our trend reversal area. At the moment, um, I'm following either, the, well, I'm following two possibilities, either that this is still a wave four, um, and that we have not had a triangle here, but something like a flat pattern with an overshooting B wave to the downside, basically A wave to the upside, B wave down, and we're now rallying in a C wave. That's certainly possible for Bitcoin as well. Um, even though I need to check Bitcoin, I think that's going up quite nicely now. Um, or that we're already in the B wave. Okay, so as you know, we've been waiting for that B wave. Um, and it might be playing out just now. Um, obviously, we looked at that. I think in the previous video, we talked about bullish divergences that were appearing. We reached the trend, trend reversal areas uh, area. And I highlighted to you, I actually don't really want the fifth wave to go much below the 50% retracement because, you know, honestly, the lower we go in an A wave, the, um, the let's say, more bearish it is. But um, yeah, let's see. I mean, if we now get above the... 41.3 cent level then we have a choice between saying okay it's either a b wave or if we can see more impulsive price action and we can say okay maybe all of wave two is already in but that would not be my primary at this stage why because the wave one to the upside that as per the current count started on the 10th of march was very long very stretched out yeah it took i mean here between the 10th of march and the 15th of april that such a movement is norm normally not corrected within just a few days. So what I find more likely is that this is sort of a more stretched out correction, okay? Especially as the move down was in five waves. So certainly interesting, uh, way too early to confirm a reversal at this stage, but it's a bit of a wait and see after price turned around in our trend reversal area so the, the critical levels should be known now of course um if we now well, when we go up now i would be watching the following levels 39.5 cents 40.5 and 41.3 for this fourth wave that will be relevant um again a break above them will indicate we are in a b wave but the b wave should again consist of typically three waves a b c and the A wave could be an impulse. So if we now see impulsive price action, it is most likely the A wave of the B wave, A, then there would be a setback in B and a rally in C of B. Only if we go above, and let me just adjust those resistances for B, only if we go above the resistance here, yeah, okay, which is all the way up to 44.4 cents, I would argue that all of wave two was already in. And if that was the case, we can look at much higher prices in a third wave rally, but it's too early to confirm that. And I'm not primarily focusing on that, even though a third wave is still on the radar and is still what is expected to happen next. But currently I'm watching for a bit more of a complex ABC correction. All right, that's my update about ADA. I keep you updated. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.